Hello again there, friends and fans. Raptor here. Welcome to Draugen. Draugen, Drugen, Dragon. I don't know. It's Norwegian, and it was made in part with the Norwegian Film Institute, and it comes out May 29th, 2019. This is basically like one of those uh, mystery walking around simulators where there's a beautiful village, and as we have played some odd games before on this channel, I figured I'd give this one a try too. So we play uh, Edward, and we have a young ward with us named Lizzie, and we're walking around trying to find our wife uh, by the name of, or actually our sister, my mistake, our sister, and I forget her name, but we're going to go and experience this game. It's, you know, one of the kind of more of a story-based game, and it's very beautiful, so I really appreciate that. So thank you for showing your support, and if it gets enough, we'll continue on through it, but it is a game that's just really beautiful. So sit back, relax, enjoy. This is definitely not our regular cup of tea, but perhaps it'll be something a little more refreshing on the channel. So, without further ado, let's get started. And I'll see you guys on the other side of the cutscene. We'll start a new game here and uh, get everything started. I also want to make sure we got uh, cut, or rather, uh, subtitles on, so those uh, of you who might not speak English as well maybe could read a little bit. There we go. Subtitles are on. Many different uh, levels of uh, language there, so let's get started. Uh, I just played for a couple minutes just to make sure I got my bearings and everything seemed good. So let's start again. Here we go. The water's cold. It's a fjord. You're not going swimming. Boo. You're such a wet blanket, teddy bear. You know I don't like it when you call Edward. me- Edward. Edward Charles Harden, Esquire. Will you promise to behave on land? Don't I always? Lissy, promise. Well, piffle and phonus balonus, teddy. You ought to know better than to ask. She is sassy. Yes, I'll behave. I'll be a proper young lady. I shan't run or climb things or laugh too loud or call anyone old man. Aside from you. So, do you think we'll find your Betty in... Uh, what did you call this village? Gravelick? Gravelick. Yes, I do. Why here? What's so special about Gravelick? She never said, but knowing my sister... Something drew her here. But how can you know? I just do. In her letter, she wrote about... But that's months ago. She could have gone anywhere. Without writing or telegraphing her editor in New York, she wouldn't do that. Betty's... Ooh, fast pajamas, the bee's knees, little Miss Perfect. Alice, you're talking about my sister. Fine. I'm sorry. Elizabeth's a darb. We all love her dearly. And Teddy Bear? Edward? We will find her. Betty's fine. Why, well, we'll see her as soon as we get to shore. She'll shower you with kisses and berate you for coming all this way from Hanover, Massachusetts to the middle of absolutely nowhere Scandinavia way just to chase Norway. her down. And everything will be jakeled, Fruit. <sighs> yeah, my thoughts exactly, Ed. Is that it? Let's push her overboard. Is that Groovewalk? That's Garvik. Looks so peaceful. Garlic. And beautiful. Ooh. And so desolate. Like a place built for ghosts. Oh, there's a church there on the left. Finally. I don't think I could do this for much longer. Can't you row any faster? I'm getting frightfully bored. How about you take over, Alice? <laughs> you slay me, Teddy, old bean. Was that thunder? Still distant. The boat will be in safe harbor by the time the weather arrives. So you say. But I say put your back into it. Because we're sitting ducks out here. Quack, quack. <laughs> okay, okay. I can tell she's going to be a little bit more than a handful, I think, at this point. It's a beautiful game, though. Voice acting's so good. Where is everyone? Probably working. I know it's a foreign concept to you, but that's something Ooh, normal people damn. do. Hardy har har. The Fretland farm is up the hill somewhere. Up where? Uh. I believe it's that farmhouse. 
all the way at the top. Hot dog! Let's ankle! Hold on. Let me read the letter from Mrs. Fretland first. I'll meet and... you up there, old sport. I want to explore. Last one's a skunk's tail. Get out of here, kid. Be You're careful. annoying. The ground's muddy. You could slip and fall. See you in two shakes. Thank God. Okay, now we can now we can play adult. Alright, we got a letter to read from our Dear sister. Mr. Harden, I think. We would like to extend an invitation to visit our home. Trouble to hear of your sister's disappearance. No news to share. You'll find our farm on top of the hill. I hope I got that right. Look forward to seeing you here in October. Yours faithfully, Anna Fretland. Oh, thank God he didn't read the whole well, thing. I'm here. That's a long letter. Are you? Did you make it to Grovik, Betty? And why did you pick this forlorn hole under the mountains? Damn, she looks like a 20s movie star. Scarf and uh, also, hat and everything. Uh oh. On my way. Something's not good about that weather. Step to it, teddy bear. Ah, she already ran to the top of the hill. Okay. Well, it doesn't look like anybody's really in town. Frederick Fretland and son. Fretland family seems to have quite a bit of uh, influence in this town. They have a farm. They have what looked to be a possibly a hardware store. Beautiful game so far. Norway's very beautiful as well. And uh, I've been to Scandinavia a few times, but uh, never to the mountains of Norway like this. Very beautiful. Oh, the lighting is good. So I don't know if this game has any jump scares or anything like that, but uh, there is definitely an element of mystery and creepiness to it. Let's get all the way up to the top. I think we're going right here. Teddy, this way. I'm coming. Oh, it's really raining. Hans Christian Andersen? Isn't that the Dane who wrote the thing about the mermaid? Hmm. His name may have been spelled differently. The flag is it half staffed? That's interesting. Half staff flag is a little concerning. Hmm. It's hard to see the fjord with all the rain. Alright, we made it. Jeez, what a climb. What took you so long? I'm not 17. Yeah. Nor are you 70. Put some spring into your step, old sport. Okay, let's see if anyone's home. It's a half mast. Someone died. So this is it, huh? Nice digs. But seriously, where is everyone? Hmm. Uh, they're probably this inside. It's raining. Perhaps everyone's indoors. The rain's picking up. You first, old bean. Okay, knock, knock. Hello? Anyone there? Mr. Fretland? Mrs. Fretland? This is Edward Charles Harden, the American. We've exchanged letters. Maybe they went on holiday and left the door open. Give it a shake and a rattle. I can't just... Barge into their home. Whoa, not a, a crime if you're invited. A B and E, young lady. You want me to do a breaking and entering? All right, let's go. I'm coming in. This is a, this is Mr. Harden. Uh oh, now I'm creeped out. Hello. Is anyone home? This house is yeah. as empty as a bird's nest. How did you get in here? Hey, you want to check out the upstairs? Get the hell out of me! No. Certainly not. I'm going to sit down and wait for the Fretlands. Maybe there are extra comfortable chairs upstairs. Well, I didn't want to go upstairs anyway. 
It's creepy. There must be a sitting room on this floor. Can we grab our briefcase? No? Okay. Let's go here. Oh, this Ooh. is nice. Charmingly rustic. The Boston Beaumont would pay a pretty penny for this setup. I thought foreigners lived differently. This is almost like an American home. People are people wherever you go. Thanks, Proust. Let's see what this book is all about. This reminds me of the burned books from Mist. What are you looking at there? A book. Strange place for a book. Unless it was a terrible book that deserved a good burning. What's the title? The cover's charred. Christmas 1922 to Ruth from Simon. Why would someone burn this? Like I said, maybe it was a terrible book. Huh. Is Simon one of the Freddy Landers? I don't think so. They only have the one daughter. Okay, so somebody's got a boyfriend named Simon. Look! Family pictures. They must be the, uh, what did you call them? The Fretlands? The Fretlands. Right. Anna and... John? Johan. This is honestly not what I'd pictured. They're very presentable. Not at all like turnip farmers. They're not turnip farmers. That must be Johan Fretland, master of the house. What makes you think he's the master of anything? It's 1923, Teddy old boy. Women can vote. I'm guessing their daughter is the master of this house. She's cute as a button. I can't wait to meet her. She's guaranteed to be more fun than you. Why did we bring you along? You're just a pain in the ass. Wait. Is that... Are they... It, who's... They're all twins. All of them. That's Johan and Anna Fretland. There are two of each, Edward. Two of each. Uh-oh. Frederick and Margaret. Twins marrying twins. <laughs> My mind's reeling. This is just too adorable. May 26th, 1899. We'll be celebrating their silver anniversary next year. Okay, so there's some suspicion already. There's going to be, like, multiple characters. Someone's probably going to end up dead, and we're going to have to find out who. Probably some sort of a cover-up. Interesting. Well, those boys look proud as peacocks. What does it say there? Groovy? Groovin. That means mine. mine. Yeah. Maybe that's where everyone is. Digging for precious jewels in the Stygian Abyss. From what I learned of this place during the brief stay in Olesund, the iron mine shut down 20 years ago. Hmm. The mine was only in operation until 1902. They must have lost a fortune. An iron mine wouldn't pay itself off in five years. Can we go spelunking? Perhaps we'll find trolls in the abyss, and we can steal their ill-gotten gold. There was a cave-in. It'll be unsafe. Oh, boo. Okay. It's starting to really pick up outside for the rain. Let's look at a few more things. What's in here? Oh! Oh! Hello. Betty. Have you gone screwy again, Teddy? That's not Betty. Her That's... Scarf. I'd know it anywhere. Oh yeah, that was the one in the like picture. To me. It she just bought it in like... Bloomingdale's the Christmas before last. Yeah, she was wearing it in the photograph. When she came home that year, she showed it off. Dancing around the sitting room until I got dizzy watching her. I think you're misremembering. She couldn't make it home that year. Again. No. I'm... You're wrong. I'm sure she was there. Whatever. It's not like you pay any attention to me when Betty's around. I might just as well be a ghost. Who are you, ma'am? Don't you have parents? Where are your parents? You're like, you're in the middle of Norway with some man in his 40s. Why have you, why have you chosen? You're 17... Nice boots, though. Those are cool. She looks like she's about ready to ride a horse at any moment. Look. It is her scarf. It even smells like her perfume. Shalimar. Shalimar. But what if that's she's not... She's here. I'm finally going to find her. That's... That's great, Edward. Really. I... I wouldn't want you to get your hopes up. I mean, where's everyone gone to? Well... Something's not right, I'm telling you. I'm having a heart attack. Teddy? Edward, what's wrong? Oh, God. I... Lightheaded, that's all. You're having another spell. You know what happens when you exert yourself. 
Should I, I should sit down. Can I sit down? Sit down. Oh. That's an order from your commander. Yes. I just need to, to catch my breath. Just for a moment. This is a I nice ch chair couch lie thing. Lie down and close your eyes. Are you going to rob me? It's been a strenuous day. What with the rowing and the dragging of the suitcase up the hill. And what if the fret... I'll keep an eye out. I promise. If they come home, I'll wake you. Now, lie down, close your eyes, breathe deeply. Am I, why am I laying on your lap? This is so awkward. Oh boy. <laughs> okay. I think she robbed us, dude. Elizabeth? Is that you? Elizabeth, you better not have my wallet, damn it. What? Betty? Lissy. Lissy, are you here? Anybody outside? Lissy? Hello? Hello? Oh! Hey, who's there? Betty? Elizabeth? Oh boy. Now it's. Oh, now. Now it's gonna get creepy. Great. Lizzie, there's someone outside. It, it might be Betty. Lizzie, you in here? Are you here, Lizzie? I'm gonna go outside. I don't have time to wait for Lizzie. We gotta go find who that Who's was. Out there? Hello? Betty? Uh oh. What is that? A footprint? I'm not alone. A huge footprint. Like a bear or something. Oh, great. We're gonna get attacked by a bear. And that's clearly meant for me to open. And the chase is on. Who are you? Where are you coming from? I can hear you. Hello? Lissy? Oh, okay, that's a bird. Who goes there? Wait! Oh god. This is beautiful and creepy at the same time. Alright. Uh, whoa! Okay, that's great. That scared me. Someone there? Yeah, who's out here? I heard a bell. Someone ringing a bell? Hello? Oh, great, a goat. I went down here. There, Betty? Oh, oh, oh! Betty, is that you? Oh, he's gonna fall. Yep. And down we go. Hope this wasn't the wrong way and I died or something. Oh, my glasses. What a nerd. Alright, we're good now. Oh, wind blowing. Elizabeth, are you there? Is that like a lobster trap? Or is that what is that? A hat? The boat, Edward. Where's our boat? Listen. Oh yeah, where's the boat? Uh. What about the boat? It's gone. The boat. What? How? Maybe you didn't secure it properly. I pulled it up. I don't know. I thought I tied it securely, but. Uh -oh. Where did you go? Out? For a walk. It stopped raining. Did you see Betty? Did I see. What are you talking about? I think. Betty. It was Betty. I. Oh, there she is. The li it was her. little circle. It must have been her. I saw her face in the window, and. And she vanished into the dark towards the sea. You really didn't see anyone. I haven't seen a single soul. Are you sure it was her? And yes. Not. I. I mean, I saw her face, and it looked like her. Well, if it was her, why did she run away? I don't. I don't know. Uh, it's getting dark. Back to the house. And tomorrow. Tomorrow's another day. Teddy bear. We'll figure it out. 
Right now, let's get you cleaned up. This is weird. Look at you. You've got mud all over yourself. She calls me teddy bear. Then you really need to sleep. She's you trying to get me exhausted. to sleep all the time. Come on. Just saying. Right, let's go back to the house. Is there food? I'm getting hungry. It's been like a whole day. I was rowing all day. All right. This girl is definitely, like, energetic for sure. Day two. Okay. Well, we beat the f level one complete. Now we find out what happens on this day. Probably more trouble. Are we sleeping again? Probably. Oh, yep. Yeah. Same couch. Oh. Hi there, uh, Betty. I will find you again. Hmm. Okay. I don't know why we just don't text her or call. It's a beautiful day. You are energetic as hell, young lady. Gotta put her to work in a coal mine or something like that. That'll wipe that energy and positivity right out of her. Okay, let's go outside. Apparently it's beautiful out. I just about given up Ooh, on you ever waking up. Ooh, damn, that looks beautiful. Sleep well? I dreamed of Betty. She was in the garden. And she called for me. How about you, Lissy dearest? Oh, you know me, old fruit. Wide awake at first light. The Fretlands didn't come home, did they? They did not. There's no sign of anyone. Aside from last night's Mistwalker. I've been thinking about that. I... It was dark. Maybe I just saw a shadow. Chasing a shadow? That's very unlike you. Wow, like, that is beautiful. Usually you scurry off in the opposite direction. I didn't get a good look. I'm not even sure there was anyone there. Oh, there must be someone here. Where are you going? To explore? Why do we have to have this cutscene? Come on. As yeah. I was saying. <laughs> oh, there must be someone here. And I'm not talking about ghosts. Or goats. Come on, let's go explore. What was it you said yesterday? Maybe they're peeking at us through the windows. I'll take a gander. The Fretlands will be home soon. And Betty's here. I know it. I feel it. If you say so, Teddy Bear. Have you had your noodle juice yet? I'm not rummaging through their cupboards. You'll be a pill without your tea and toast, old bean. We need to get you sorted. I'm not hungry. First point on the agenda. Find the natives. A mission! Hot dog! I'll scout ahead. I'll meet you down by those houses. Gee, she holds me back and talks my ear off. Secrets, uh, oh, here's what the town looks like. Oh, finally, so now we can explore it stuff. So the whole hand-holding is done. All right, there's the church there on the left. And then the boat is gone. Bunch of houses, some cabins and such. Let's head down the road. I think we'll just go back down this way. We'll double time it. Man, she, like, talks your ear off and then, like, runs to the next location. We're probably supposed to find her. Is that her? In here, Teddy. Are you up there in a tree? It's such a beautiful day. You could bottle and sell this air in Boston. It's frankly medicinal. Uh. It's chilly. That's all you have to say? It's chilly? You're not cold. Why would I be? I thought you were scouting ahead. What do you think I'm doing? Vantage point. Like on a pirate ship. I can probably see our house in Hanover from here. Did you check those buildings? Knocking on doors isn't a scout's job, old bean. Alright, I'll do it. Jeez. Pain in the ass. These really look more like cabins or something. Very beautifully detailed. What does that say? For... Oh, there's a... Hello? Oh, shit. Who... Who's there? Farader. Farader? What is it? I don't know what that means in Norwegian. Hello? Anyone home? Uh oh. Like a crib for a young child. Well, there's something here. September 21st, 1923. Ooh, it's all in Norwegian. Cool. Er desperata. Lissy, found something here. 
escalated from words to stones. Blood has been spilled. The curse haunts us all. There is no hope left in... Good Svarlata. Good. God. Right. In this God-forsaken place. The death of the... Jiminy. The death of the children was the end of Grovik. Whatever remained of our souls departed with them. You should see this, Lissy. Yeah, there's some serious crap going on in the house. Miller just trails off. It was never sent. Yeah, whoever wrote that was right here. Lizzie, what are you doing? Is she seriously doing... What is she doing? Really? God, what a pain in the ass. <laughs> Did you see this door closing? It was just the wind, teddy bear. You're as skittish as a pussycat. No one home? No, not in that house. I don't know what that meant anyway. I don't know if I can knock on any of these other doors. Let's see. Hello? Anyone here? Well, there's one more house. Third time's the charm. I don't want to go in people's homes if I... Well, then again, I just broke into that one house, so... Maybe I shouldn't say that. How about this house? Anyone home? Anyone home? Unless they're playing hide-and-go-seek. Three strikes, you're out. Yeah, no one's home. I don't think anyone's been home for a while. Someone painted the word traitor on one of the doors. Oh, traitor? And there was a letter. It sounded foreboding. Well, you were wrong. The villagers are not indoors. Uh, what about the boat? I still don't understand what happened to the boat. Why don't we investigate? Maybe it's even drifted back to shore by now. Unlikely. But I would like to know how it got unmoored. Well, it's a bright and beautiful day, and we have nothing better to do. She's right about that. Okay. What on earth are you doing? Handstands, Teddy. My record is two minutes. I'm working on three. Just go on ahead. I'll catch up. Thank God. If we leave before the conversation's over, she'll say something, then we have to go back. So you gotta, like, stick around until they're done yabbing. But it's okay. It's establishing the, uh... Can I fall down here? It's establishing the, uh narrative of the story oh, there we go okay how about we don't go back to Hanover and stay here instead and how would I survive hunt harvest oh, fish forage. people have survived here for centuries why can't we I wouldn't even know where to begin I could learn I'd start with goats goats can be eaten and milked probably not in that order they had a memorial service for the accident in the mine on July 24th in the village church. Oh, okay. For something that happened 20 years ago? It still affected their lives. Telegraphs, yada yada. Okay, let's go back to the boat. I want to see what they say about that. A very small dock here, too, by the way, for a fishing village. Seems like they have a lot of uh, like fish and stuff that came in. Or maybe not. Well, you'd think every village would be a fishing village. Oh, apparently I could draw. Oh, that's what we look like. Cool. Do, 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 do. This game is beautiful, though. So is the fjord. So he's an artist and a writer, perhaps? Or at least uh, does some doodling. I suppose back in the 20s when photographs weren't as common, people did a lot of drawing of stuff that they would see. So he must be drawing these uh, boathouses here or something. Beautiful game. They've done a good job of the lighting and the atmosphere, the wind. And the humming. Ooh, very pretty. Is he done? Do I have to click something? He's Oh, there we go. What did, what did he draw? Let's see. Oh, cool. 
I wonder if I sat there longer if he would come up with more detail or something like that. That's cool. What is she doing? She's probably talking to herself. That's what I'm doing right now, to be honest. <laughs> Alright, let's think about the boat. Oh. It's all still tied up. Somebody cut the rope. There's no damage to the rope. I don't know what that means. Nobody cut it. Oh, never mind. I guess the knot could have unraveled on its own. Didn't he say you used a sailor's knot? I'm a scholar, not Wait, a fisherman. What? So, who took our boat? A ghost? There must be a logical explanation. It's safe to say no ghost in the night stole our boat. Well, how is he able to tell so. that? The rope just is laying in the water. It night? could have been cut. A shadow? I don't know. It was probably all in my head. Hmm. Okay. Let's look around a little bit. Well, certainly a beautiful game with a lot of little mysteries and stuff. If you're into walking simulators or um, kind of like story-based games where it's just kind of a casual walk around, this certainly will be a game for you. Beautiful. And uh, there's been a lot of games like this on Steam over the years. And, you know, they're not everybody's cup of tea, but it's certainly something different and new. So there's certainly a lot to explore. Uh, the mine... What's this? The city itself. Of the mining operation. Where did you what, come from? Mine? You were Remember, behind me. I, I told you yesterday. There was a mine here, but it closed down 20 years ago. I know, Edward. I was just checking for a hey, sense of humor. No way, I'm balancing. Still nowhere to be found. Wow, what a beautiful game. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's see if the tracks, where do they go? This might be the mine here. No trespassing for traitors. Cool. Want to jump the gate and explore what's on the other side? Uh, that would be trespassing, young lady. The sign says no trespassing for a reason. Come on! There may be trolls, or at least more houses. Could this isn't the internet, young lady. Old sport? Don't you want to see where these tracks go? They lead to the old mine, and no. I've had enough adventure on this side of the fence. Besides, they wrote no trespassing for a reason. You're such a terrible bore, Teddy Bear. Okay. I'll wager a thousand clams. You'll jump this gate at some point if you believe Betty's on the other side. Oh yeah, all right, I'm going. Frederick Fretland. Who are these traitors he refers to? No idea. It's kind of cool though that she'll follow around and give color commentary to stuff to make sure it's not boring. So she definitely provides some sassiness to it. All right, a beautiful game, a wonderful first look. There's obviously a lot more story to this. We've barely even scratched the surface. But I wanted to play it. The developers seem nice, and I really appreciate games that are nicely detailed with the environment. So, and they can't speak. Ooh, but they see and feel it's a cool little bridge. There's something very wrong with your head. Wouldn't it just be awful? Wow. Someone's doing their laundry right here. How gorgeous. All right, well, that is it for our first look today. Thank you, everybody, for being here for Draugen, Dragon, whatever, however it's pronounced. I appreciate everyone joining me for this first look. So thanks for your support to the channel. Thank you for subscribing and saying hello and whatnot. And thanks to uh, Lizzie for not being too much of a pain. Appreciate that. Oh, look, she's taking her bow. Thank you. All right, guys. I'll see you all next time. Have a fantastic day. If you want to see more, show your support. Otherwise, think about getting this game if it's uh, something that interests you for a mystery walking around interactive experience. Not too bad. I like it. And exactly what I expected. I'll see you all next time. Bye, everyone.